Hey team, in an effort to reach out to you, the men and women of the Nebraska National Guard, your families and the communities we support, uh, and because I've discovered that I can't be everywhere um, and can't talk to each of you personally, um, I thought maybe this would be a way for us to reach out to you and answer some questions you've shot our way. Uh, and so we're gonna kick this off today uh, and we're gonna call these the Tag Talks. So uh, the first one is how does the National Guard make a difference in Nebraska? So I'd answer it in a couple different ways. One, by having presence across the state. So we're in 23 communities across the state from east to west, north to south and just simply being available to our fellow citizens and having them see us uh, do training and be involved in the communities, I think is, is uh, really an important message. And, and um, the other thing I would say about that is when a disaster strikes or something occurs in this state and our governor says uh, we're needed, um, they have great confidence in us. So when they see your uniform, see our uniforms, that means a lot to our fellow citizens. The second way by being across so many different communities uh, is we are really the grassroots connection uh, to, for the United States military. If you think about here in Nebraska, we have one active duty installation off at Air Force Base uh, located in Bellevue, Nebraska. And uh, they are a great presence, but they're only in the East and we are across the state. So we help connect America with its military. So I think that's the, the second one. Um, and then uh, third is just, uh, just really being in supportive and connected with our communities makes a daily difference. Uh, and I have people tell me that time and time again. Okay, the second question that someone teed up is, what is the one habit that helped make you successful as a leader and a person? Um, and I'd have to say it's, it's reading, being uh, an active, uh, maybe even voracious reader. I spend time each day, uh, I start my day off by reading local news and national news uh, before I come into work. Um, and as uh, retired Lieutenant General Sid Clark, the former director of the Air National Guard said, if nothing else, you'll be a more interesting uh, person when you go to parties or social gatherings because you're, you're an informed person. Um, I like to read a lot of different things and in fact uh, I think at some point uh, during this Tag Talk we're going to roll a list of five books I've suggested uh, that I think are good reads for anybody. Uh, but I read things like military biographies to leadership books to um, uh, a recent book I read on recapturing the art of conversation in a digital age, that's, that's been a very influential book in, in the way I think about things today. Um, and, and then uh, currently reading a book that's not on the list because I haven't finished it yet, uh, on being mortal. And it, it's uh, an interesting discussion about healthcare in our, in our country. So um, I, I just think if you do that and if you engage a variety of sources, uh, you're going to be well served and more importantly uh, your organization and your family and your community are be, be better served as well. Your reading habits should never be a burden. You should adjust for both professional and personal tastes and sometimes you need to take a break and step back from that and then re-engage and go after it. So, uh, I, But I, again, I think every Every uh, leader that I've talked to or heard speak always come to that one single thing. Uh, go read and read a lot. So I would suggest that to you. Uh, then the third question is, what is the most important thing that a new military spouse should know about the Guard? And so this is, you know, uh, somebody's sworn in, sworn an oath to protect and defend the constitutions of the state of Nebraska and the constitution of uh, United States of America. And, um, and so I, what I would tell a new spouse is your support uh, to your military member is critical to their success, to our success. Um, we really just can't get after what we need to do, whether it be training or deployments or schools um, or being involved in our communities uh, without uh, spouse and family support and so it, it really extends well beyond just the spouse but to the kids to mom and dad the you know the family and friends that are gathered around that service member uh, I know you know for me personally uh, it seems like every time 
um, I leave, something happens, of course. Uh, you know, water heater needs to be fixed or, you know, there's some issue um, in the family. Um, and so being a, a strong teammate from both sides, uh, the service member supporting their spouse, spouse supporting service member, makes a critical difference for our success. So, so those were the three questions we had teed up for today. And um, what we're gonna do in the future is uh, if you like this, please send your questions into our public affairs department from whomever you are and whatever you wanna ask about. And uh, we'll try to tee it up in a future edition of one of these Tag Talks. And uh, so good to spend a little time with you this way, team. And uh, we'll be back.